I'm trying real hard to play Fire Emblem Sacred Stones for the Nintendo Game Boy Advance. But it's in Japanese! Hello and welcome back to Infantry Only Fire Emblem Sacred Stones. We are back at it in the post game. And hopefully, we won't, um, suffer. You know, last episode, there was a distinct lack of suffering. And you know what? I'm looking forward to keeping that pace for this episode. I think we can do it. In fact, I know we can do it. Uh, regardless, on this chapter, I this floor, I gotta stop calling them chapters. This chapter is um, based around those little poison traps. You see those funky wall decorations? Yeah, don't put anyone near them. They are, in fact, very bad. If you put a unit there, not only do they take a minuscule amount of damage, they also, um, they also will poison you. And being poisoned sucks. But this level up also sucks. So, we are going to have to make sure that... Yeah, it's not enough to kill, is it? Just barely. I capped strength, by the way. Um, But the one saving grace that we have is that al almost all of these enemies are um, axe users. So our sortie boys should be more than capable of annihilating here. And by sortie boys, I mean sortie man and woman. Ma and son. Alright, what does he have, a bow? Yeah. Oh, alright, well, we've been hit by our first sub 50%. Woo! Yeah, that's what I mean. Not only was he poisoned... Yeah. So. And they go out quite a bit. Also, this thief showed up to absolutely no fanfare at all. Hmm. Anyways. Let's... Oh, wow, exactly enough. Nice. Thanks, poison. Happy you could help. Mm-hmm. Let's give him that killing edge. And also, let's make sure... Um... Yeah, let's make sure that he gets healed up. Nice. Okay. Now, this guy has a steel axe. You have also steel axe. All right. Let's just move everyone over here. Up and ready. Now, as for up here... We are able to just barely squeak around here and put Ismair and, um, I'll give her a steel sword so she doesn't have to keep using charges. And with the Excalibur, so this is actually our first usage of Excalibur the entire playthrough. There it is. It's exactly what it looks like, a superfied version of the uh, Air Caliber Tome from uh, FE6. Nice. And it comes complete with a level up. Selena's final. More skill. Eh, okay, sure. I'll take it. And then Gilly, my boy, my Bob. Oh god, I should have upped his weapons. Shit. Oh, that's something for next turn, I guess. Or next chapter. The Spooters are moving in. Gilliam, though, will not care. Slam. And then incoming second slam. Bam. Alright. Cool. And then beyond that, Joshua should be just fine here. Mm-hmm. There it is. Silencer crit. Unnecessary, because he was dead anyway. Woo! Wow. Is Joshua that low of level? He's level... Oh, sorry, he's an assassin. Alright. So his strength and speed are both one point away each from capping. 
Now I want you all to tell me, are they going to cap when he levels up next? I'll give you a hint. I'm pretty sure we all know the answer. Alright. Oh god, the fucking hellhounds are moving. That's a problem. But, we should still be fine. We don't have to worry about out-damaging them when they can't fucking hit us. We can take this at our own pace, except for the fact that I think another thief is about to show up. I think. Don't hold me to that. Oh, we get a two-for-one deal there. Buy one, get one free on slowly being poisoned to death. Oh, you fucking shit, spider. Yeah, uh, monsters in this locale do not particularly care about um, getting hit by their own traps. So, go ham wild. Alright, what do you got here? You have a steel axe, which means if I do this... Yep! Wow, you can't even damage him if you can hit him. Oh, I've missed an 89. Alright, well... That actually does mean that Gilliam won't kill that Cyclops next turn, on the um, enemy phase. Which is cool, I guess. Oh, and now you get the crit after... Yeah, okay, well. These are things that are not necessarily a problem. They are just mildly annoying. And as we all know, nothing is allowed to be mildly annoying. It must be absolutely perfect or bust. All right, now, this is right here. So, I want to kill this guy with Ardor. Yeah. Oh god, where's that Sword Slayer? It's you. Oh, you make everything more difficult. Alright. We're gonna have to lure them out. Much slower. Okay. No, this is still fine. Wait, this guy doesn't... What makes them move is the problem. Alright, how about this? I kill this guy with Ardor. Mm-hmm. Yes. That I do no matter what. And then, do any of you have a bow? Steel Axe, Killer Axe. Was that the Sword Reaver? Fuck. Wait, we can just look at his crit chance. Okay, which, what's, what's crit? Um, crits that 50, right? Yeah. So what's his crit chance? 14. Yeah, he doesn't... He does not have a, um... Killer weapon. He just has, yeah, more skill than his contemporaries. Okay. Knowing that, we put Orson right here... With the Iron Blade. Because even if he gets attacked by the Sword Slayer... He has 53 HP. He can survive it. Wait, I can also just... Well, I can't kill him with Purge. But it is something to remember that I can do. Yeah, okay. And then Joshua and Ephraim will remain behind. Alright, this should work. Yeah, Gilliam is going to be A-OK -okay here. Bam. Unfortunate that he can't kill that Cyclops, but, you know, sacrifices have to be made in the name of terrible RNG. Alright. Mm. Not gonna be enough to kill, but... Alright, damn. Alright, well, that's still fine. Gilliam, my boy, me bob. Damn it. Alright. Should have figured he was gonna get hit eventually. I mean, it's what has to happen. I'm not going to get through this chapter completely unscathed with no risk ever. Alright. Yeah, now you two... You two are going to be fine. Yeah, I can take what's happening there at my own pace. Don't gotta rush things, you know? Alright, he's getting attacked. And he's getting hit by the 25%. Thanks, Orson. Very cool. Alright, more of the Maeldons. That thing scares me wherever it's going to end up, but as of right now, I don't think we have a problem. 
Yeah. More things getting poisoned. Cool. Uh, yeah, I f was afraid that this was when that happened. Um, hmm. Well, I could just let him pilfer it. No, I don't know if I want to do that. Um, what do you have equipped? Steel axe? Yeah. So here's what we'll do. The problem is Selena might be in range of getting poisoned. But I don't... Actually, I don't think it reaches all the way down. It might. Don't get me wrong. But I don't think it does. Though, knowing me, I can certainly be proven wrong about that. And Gilliam... Well, this should be fine, right? Yeah. Alright, get the fuck out of here, thief. Dirty, dirty thief. Alright. As for these folks... Second verse is same as the first, though I think this is like the third verse at this point. Yeah, just keep on... They're all axes. You can dodge them. Even Kalik can dodge. Or Kalik. Can he get a good final level up? I'd say so. I'd say it's a pretty good final level up. And then Steel Sword time. Dead. Woo! Alright. Spider Bitch is dead. Now on to... Hell. What is your move? Seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So he actually he can't make it to combat that guy. All right. Here, we'll just play it safe down here. No need to um rush to my death. Um, can you rescue Arter? You can't. What about you? Only Ephraim can. Fuck. Shit, that was not... The, I should have healed him with Reeve? Or what's Reeve's con? Seven? Yeah, seven. If I healed him with Reeve, I could have. I forgot I used the uh, gilding ring on Arter. Alright, well. What are the odds that this goes horribly awry? And then you two just remain right there. Enemy phase. Poison dudes are going to get hit for poison. Yeah. That Malden's going to go down that way. Alright. Little bit concerning, but not... Yeah. Alright. Alright. Oh no. Selena is going to be able to get hit. Which is not good. Oh no, she's not? Okay. And it also looks like that Cyclops just doesn't... doesn't move. Um, okay. Let us use the power of the Excalibur. Excalibur, Excalibur. From the United King, I'm looking for him. I'm going to California. I should read Soul Eater. I only watch the anime. I heard the manga was different, but also good. Hmm. Alright, well. Do I really just want to invite the gates of hell to uh, Gilliam? Yes, actually. I think he can handle the gates of hell. Now, as for you people, I think the official order is going to be to break down this wall. Yep. Sounds good to me. However, I do have to remember they don't have a healer with them, so uh, I'm going to want to be careful. Alright. Here we go with this. Of course that happens. But it's okay. It's what we have um, Reeve here for. Mend him up. I should have traded his items first. God damn it. Oh god, he actually has a chance to be crit now. Oh no. That would be really bad. Because now the killer axe guy has a decent chance to hit him. Because he has a steel lance equipped. Oh, it's a 
Oh, it is the Sword Reaver. Oh, that's right. It's, there's the Sword Reaver and then the Sword Slayer. And for some reason, they're different weapons. And I don't... I'm gonna be real with you, Chief. I never understood why. Alright, you have a long bow that's going to do negative damage. Got it. Cool. Nice job, dummy. Bet you thought you were so clever. Alright. Now, these Cyclopses are just vibing. Like, they are just straight up vibing. Good for them. Um, what do you guys have equipped? Hammer, Steel Axe, yeah. I'm not afraid of you guys either. Um... Let's get Orson out of there. Yeah, there's no need to um use an Evaldi when I don't have to. Yep. We'll take this as slow as we want. Anything to negate the uh, fear of death. And you yeah, you guys can just wait. Gilliam um he will destroy this person's life. With a swanky ass crit. Love that animation. Alright, what do you have? The steel axe. I guess I I guess I shall have to take cat of you. With the Elfire Tome. I can afford to take my time. Boom. Yep. And boom. Alright. So far, th there is a distinct lack of nightmares. Nice. Okay, so we're going to have to change up the weapon here. Oh. Gilliam's going to hit a 28. Or a 45. But I'm going to die because I get hit by, um... Whatever the fuck it was. 30s. Alright. Keep getting perpetually poisoned there, my guy. Thankfully, Gilliam's poison is almost done, right? Isn't like next turn? Yep. There we go. And with the iron sword, you should... Yeah, there we go. Good job, Gilliam. I always believed in you. Seriously, I've, I've always believed in you. You're pretty much the only one I've ever believed in this entire run. Well, that's not true. I believed in other people. But mainly you, Gilliam. You... You are the main source of my belief. Alright. Anyways, Calic... Well, he's not going to be doing it fast, that's for sure, but... Alright, let's just start critting here. I said, let's start critting here. Thank you. Alright, so that Cyclops is going to die next turn. Actually, no, we don't need to. We don't need the Silver Sword. We don't need it. Um, and as for right here, Ardor can just finish off this fucker. Boom. Um, what level is Ardor anyway? 18. All right, cool. Mm hmm. Chest. A physic. Actually, that's, that's not bad. I'm okay with physic. Decisively okay with physic. Mm hmm. And then as for you, Orson. You get to be the welcoming party. Alright, enemy phase. We are continuing to take bits of damage, but nothing serious. Some damage, and then a crit. Yep. There we go. Good job. Boom. Now the spider is going to come down for Orson, but this isn't... Yeah, this isn't a problem at all. Slam. And a slam. Ardor will easily be able to finish that guy off. Oh, wow. Okay. Whew. Jesus Christ. I will see you later, pal. Now, as for this. Yep. This is going to go slowly, but easily. Alright, now Mr. Longbow McFucker. Yeah. 
what I thought. Oh! Poison from Mr. Uh, Malden. And Longbow McFucker has taken like 14 damage off poison alone. Oh, he drops his lockpick! I can give me that shit, you little fuck! I mean, <clears throat> this is a filthy, filthy Tomb Raider. And we must seize his keys for our archaeological purposes. Yes. Send out the convoy. <clears throat> Alright. Finish the job, Kalik. And you are now dead. Alright. Um, Orson. No, no, we can finish him off with Ardor. Yep. The power of shine. And we have shined that spider to death. Good job, guys. All right. Nothing else appears to be in this hallway for right now. So, Joshua, move up. Do all the Cyclopses not move? I guess so. What do you have equipped? Oh, you have a white gem. Oh, that beauty like that turns me on. Fuck yeah. Okay. We are continuing to just not give a shit about the concept of damage. Which is fine by me. Yep, and you can finish him off. Things are going way too smoothly these last two episodes. But we are going to be halfway through the Lagdow Ruins after this. Halfway through hell. Hope you all are enjoying the buffet. Alright. And we're also getting all the treasures, which is good. Enemy phase. Yep. So he has decided to keep attacking Gilliam. Because that has worked so well for it. <laughs> they're trying. Like, I can't tell them they're not trying. Thought I just heard my phone go off, but, um, who needs friends when you're gaming? Alright. Let's. I'm both steel. No, we'll just iron sword him and then finish him off with, um, Selena, like we've been doing. Good job, Gilly, my boy, my mans. Alright. Now, Gilliam will finish the job with. Er, Gilliam will. Selena will finish the job with a well placed ball of painful fire. Dead. Alright, now this guy. Alright. We're going yeah, we're gonna wanna make sure that he is nowhere near the um splash radius. Yep. Okay. These guys really just don't even have to move. But like I guess I'll have them up and ready in case they do. Uh, I guess at most Reeve would want to purge or fortify. That's like the only thing I could think of that he would have to do. Slam. And slam. Cool. Oh yeah, he's going after Joshua now. Which I'm not afraid of. Well, I'm not afraid of. I would like it if he didn't, though. Oh, god damn it. What? Oh, that's right. I, I knew that's how far that went. Why? Well, I knew exactly that's how far that went. Alright, well. Let's just kill this guy. Come on, can I see any more of that cool Mage Knight crit animation? For me, Selena, please. Alright, well. I tried. I made a conscious effort. Alright. Now you... You should just commit the commit um toaster bath over here, Mr. Horseman. Good job. I'm proud of you. You did it. Dead. Um 
I know I'm putting him in front of the poison trap. I don't feel like having to wait another turn to open that chest. It is as simple as that. Orson. And then right there. And then... Yep. Just finish the job, Kalik. Dodge. And dead. Yay! Alright. Boom. Um, we're gonna move Ismair out of poison time. And Ardor. I guess. Enemy phase. Yep, knew that was happening. Player phase. Alright. Now, chest. We got a silver bow. The one type of silver weapon I have no use for. Sweet. Um. Then we're gonna rescue him and. Alright. Um, who wants that kill? I guess Ardor is the only one that really needs a, a boss kill. Now let's go up there and get Ardor a boss kill. Alright. Can he just instantly kill this guy? No, he's gonna need... He's gonna need... A little bit of help. Slap. Dodge and slap. Alright. Good teamwork, Gilliam. Now beyond that, uh, shine him down. Oh, apparently Ardor didn't need any help. He was perfectly capable on his own. I apologize for offending you, oh great Ardor. Level up. Speed. That's fine. <laughs> More speed equals not getting hit. Also, it's capped. That is one fine-looking uh, magic man I got there. I guess I'd want Ephraim to get the final kill because, um... Ah, uh, fuck. What's the term I'm looking for here? Experience. That's the word. Uh-huh. And then drop him. End the turn, and we are going to pick this lock, get a Purge? No, an aura. That might be helpful. And now Ephraim. Finish him off. So Ephraim, please, for the love of God. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Uh, another floor. Done. Alright, now we're on to floor six. And we got... Glenn. Right? No, Hayden! We already got Glenn, and Hay we got both of them, what? Okay. Hayden is the one you get for killing 200 enemies in one run, and Glenn is for the fifth floor. Also, there's this shit. This chapter's... This floor's whole gimmick is splitting the party up into groups of three. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's also Shadow Shot to worry about. And also Gorgons with Stone. But not with actual damaging moves, so you I mean we got that going for us. So... Yeah. Quite honestly, this really isn't as bad as it looks. Like, it looks scary. It looks really scary. It's actually not that bad. Mainly because, like... You'd think this Mogul would run interference, but if you put an evasive move unit on those pillars, it should be fine. And also... I mean, you get ten units, and we can have a healer on every single place. So we're fine. I will see you guys next time for the second half of Lagdow Ruins. See you then.